Okay, check this out. A Marantz SR7005 just came in. Haven't even powered it up yet. Let's go ahead and hook it up and see what happens to it. Maybe it'll power on, maybe it won't. I have no idea. This is a monster receiver. Wonder if I can get some dates off the back of this thing. Has a Windows Media Player. Plays Windows Media. Can we see something from the serial number right there? No, probably not. But just take a look at all the jacks on the back of this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I certainly hope it doesn't have a power amp problem. Look at all those boards I gotta tear out of this thing to work on it. Holy crap. Okay, let's power this thing up and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna turn AC power on. And I heard a click. And I'm drawing about 10 watts right now. I do have a red standby LED over here. Let's hit the power button, see what happens. And according to all outward sources, this thing is powering up. So it's telling me sat in display right here and the volume is working. I do not have speakers connected at the moment. So let's try to get a radio station tuned on this thing. Oh, look at that. There's the main LCD display down in here. Dolby VS. So, try to get some FM radio stations tuned and see if it produces audio. Okay, well I really can't find anything wrong with this unit. Been running it for quite some time and it is working absolutely perfectly. I just don't get it. So I'm going to go into the menu here and let's go down to manual setup, speaker setup, channel level, Test Tone Start, and we'll test all five channels that I have connected. Let's run the volume down a little bit. So there is the front left channel, the center channel, the front right channel, the surround right channel, and the surround left channel. Those are working absolutely perfectly. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and send this one back to the customer, let him play with it, and uh, yeah, I just don't know what to do. Let's go ahead and get out of this, and I'll show you a quick overview of the unit. Okay, so I have an HDMI signal into it right now, into my five-channel surround speakers, and it's working absolutely perfectly, HDMI out on the video monitor. So I'm just wondering what is going on with this thing. It's, it's working great. So let's go ahead and switch it over to tuner. I do have an antenna connected. I believe it says HD radio. Let's get a station tuned in here. No, I don't want auto. Okay, let's get that turned down before there's some kind of a copyright strike. But the tuner is working, so let me see, go back to, I think I have it on. Can't remember what input I had it on. I thought it was Blu-ray. Yep, I have it going into satellite. I think I did a video. Oh, yeah, I did video as well. So as far as I can tell, this thing is working absolutely perfectly. I've got to say, however, I'm a little bit disappointed in the size of this heat sink. Actually very small for the number of channels that it has connected. And no fans whatsoever. There's not even a fan hiding in here on the main board or on the display board, I should say. 
And looking at the quality of these capacitors, I'm a little bit disappointed in these things. These are, what are they? SMS capacitors. I think they're the same ones that I had problems with in another unit where I had to change like 50 capacitors in this thing. But I've got to say a little bit disappointed in the Denon Marantz build quality on this thing. Thought they would have added some fans. Can definitely feel some heat coming out of this heat sink even though I'm not really driving this thing at all. It does have a fairly beefy transformer. For as big as this unit is, I would expect a larger transformer. Now remember this thing retailed when it was new, I believe, for about $1,900. But anyhow, just going to get a hold of the customer and see if he can give me some insight as to what this thing is actually doing. Because like I said, I'm not finding an issue with this unit whatsoever. And yeah, that's going to be it. The diagnosis on the Marantz. And let's see, this was an SR7005, I do believe. Yes. SR7005. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're done there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. That is the best way to contact me. Please be patient. I have a full-time job and I do these repairs in my spare time. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everyone, if you're so inclined, have a great day. I really appreciate you watching this video. Bye-bye. Well, I just don't know what to do with this thing. Got a movie playing. It's working absolutely perfectly. I've tested the tuner, various inputs, MP3 inputs. It's working absolutely perfect. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and give this back to the customer with a half hour diagnostic. And unless he can provide a specific symptom for what this thing's doing, I think this is going to be the end. Once again, Denon Marantz, not too terribly happy with the size of the small heat sink in here with no fans for such a large unit. Well, there you go. That is the Marantz SR7005 receiver. Nice looking receiver. Definitely got a lot of functions going on right here. Everyone, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.